Hmm, let's see what's new on YouTube. Look, a new post from Frame C. Oh, what gaming OS we prefer to play on? Of course, Windows 11 2, 3, 2. Wait, what? What's this comment? Installing your FSOS on a different partition has been so beneficial on my college laptop. What? Let's see what OS he's talking about. Oh, so XOS 1, second place is Kernel OS, and after that, FSOS. What? Okay, so let's cut the yapping and get ready to install the OS. But first, here are the results before trying out FSOS. Here is the latency before. And here is the FPS before trying FSOS. Now let's follow the guide they have on Discord and install it on a USB. Now, let's boot up in FSOS and try it. Ok, so the processes are very low, 80, and the memory is 3.5 on a new installation, it's very good. Ok, now let's see the benchmarks on FSOS. Wait, no, let's do the before and after. First is the latency, so the latency on the top left is the one after and the latency on the bottom right is the one before. As you can see the one after smashed the one before, so FSOS gets a point. Now let's see the results in games. Ok, so on the left we have the FPS before and on the right we have the FPS after. So on Valorant the average FPS before was 228, after was 228.1. So we got a 0.04% boost. On Fortnite, the average FPS before was 219. After 225, we got a 2.5% boost. On GTA 5, the FPS before was 167. After 169, we got a 1.31% boost. On CS2, the FPS before was 151 and after 163. On CS2, we got a 7.8% boost. Now, 1% lows were on Valorant before 177 and after 175, we lost 0.9%. On Fortnite before 103 and after 106, we got a 2.6% boost. On GTA 5 before was 95 and after 96, we got a 0.4% boost. On CS2 before was 83 and after 87, we got a 4.8% boost. Now for the 0.1% lows, on Valorant before it was 147 and after 136 we lost 8% on Fortnite before was 93 and after 97 we gained 3.6% on GTA 5 before was 84 and after 85 we gained 0.2% and on CS2 before was 80 and after 84 we gained a 5% boost. Now, for the overall percentage gain, on average FPS we gained a 2.5%, on 1% lows we gained 1.2% and on 0.1 lows we lost 0.8%. So for a conclusion for this OS, I recommend it because he's constantly updating it and he's a very good guy. He's doing benchmarks too. Go subscribe to his channel. Bye bye.